Today on Fly Rod Chronicles, we have a special show in honor of Derek Hotzenpeller, a young U.S. Marshal from my hometown that lost his life in the line of duty. Derek was an avid fly fisher and outdoorsman, and he shared that passion with his older brother, Dustin. So I'm traveling back to Bridgeport, West Virginia, and we're going to surprise Dustin Hotzenpeller and his good buddy, Chad Cooper, with a trip of a lifetime to the incredible Brazos River Ranch in northern New Mexico. Stick around. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. This trip began with me traveling back to where I grew up in Bridgeport, West Virginia. We got together with the city police where Dustin works and had it all set up to surprise him with a fishing trip of a lifetime. You know, right now we just made the call and we kind of tricked Dustin <laughs> and he's going to come down here thinking he needs to do a little, uh, little work, but we're going to surprise him. Right. And, you know, we lined this up with this show for him to go out to New Mexico. And, and you know, you were gone. You were listed to go on that uh, trip. Yeah, I know. And, and, and so, uh, Call of Duty came. Yeah, so that, you, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, Next. But, you know, I'm, I'm just glad Dustin gets to go. And, that's and, awesome. Uh, and Chad and, uh, and everything. This is, this is good deal. Yeah. Well, Scott, thank you very much for everything you've done. Thank you. All right. The whole area of Bridgeport took the loss of United States Marshal Derek Hotzenpeller pretty hard, especially his brother Dustin. For a younger brother to be killed, it just, it's rough. I don't think anything will ever affect me, will affect me more than, than, than that happening. If anything could get Dustin's mind off things, it would be a fishing trip to Brazos River Ranch. Hey Dustin, I'm Curtis Fleming with Fly Rock Chronicles. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good, man. All right, you know any of these people here real quick? I understand that you're going to Cherokee, North Carolina on a fishing trip, but we're gonna ruin that for you. Yeah. We're taking you out to the Rocky Mountains, out to uh, Brazos River Ranch out in New Mexico uh, on a fishing trip. You all right with that? Yeah, uh, man, I've been wanting to meet you, buddy, and a uh, uh, good friend of ours uh, at Brazo River Ranch wants to donate a trip, wants you to come out with us, and we're going to film a show. Okay. Um, a lot of people have been fibbing and lying to you, <laughs> all right, all right, and we're, uh, and I just want you to know right off the bat, Scott Laddie was behind this, put it together, and, um, and we're going to go out there, your wife's on the phone, and, um, and, and we're going we're gonna to go out there in, uh, in, in behalf of your brother's name, and we're, we're going to catch a lot of fish. We're going to have a good time. Um, Scott Laddie called me a couple weeks ago. We've been talking about this. The bad news is that Scott can't go. He's got, he's got to go to FBI school. So Chad Cooper, he, he volunteered to go with us. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm going to guarantee you, I'm going to guarantee you this, man. I'm going to guarantee you we're going to have fun. We're going to catch every fish we catch is going to be in your brother's honor. That's great. And, uh, and, and we're just going to have a, have a time of our lives, buddy. Face this bunk again. Fish on. Be all pumped, man. I'm so ready for this trip. It's going to be off the charts, I have a feeling. I can't wait to see this place. You know, the crew, uh, James and Jared, they met us at the airport. You know, we picked up Dustin Hotzenpeller and uh, his good buddy Chad and came out here to Brazos River Ranch. Um, you know, I've never seen anything like this. You know, Bo Priestcorn got the, uh, the New Mexico state troopers involved and, you know, in honor of Derek Hotzenpeller, who uh, unfortunately, uh, was killed in the line of duty. Um, they took us, they had us in a motorcade um, across the state of New Mexico 
and uh, you know, just to see uh, Dustin's eyes and what he was going through emotionally, and uh, and this was all this is all about Derek, and uh, and just unbelievable to uh, be escorted by the, the fine troopers of the state of New Mexico. You know, when we got to Brazos River Ranch, uh, Bo and uh, Chad worked on a, a situation where uh, you know, Dustin and Derek's uh, fellow colleagues and friends put together a plaque um, in, in memorial for uh, Derek that was hung and will hang at Brazos River Ranch forever. And uh, pretty emotional time, but uh, what a great surprise for Dustin. You know, when Curtis gave me the call to see if I would host the the Derrick uh, Memorial fishing trip, there was just no question. You know, these guys put their lives on the line every day, and it's just the least I could do, you know, bring them in, show them a good time, uh, you know, and allow them to, to heal. Um, I think Under Armour says it best, you know, protect this house, and that's what we need to do. More people need to protect our house. Stick around when Fly Rod Chronicles returns, Dustin and Chad get on the Brazos River. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. We are at Brazos River Ranch in Northern New Mexico with Dustin Hotzenpeller and his buddy Chad Cooper. This trip is in honor of Dustin's younger brother Derek, a U.S. Marshal that recently lost his life in the line of duty. I'd say my favorite memory of my brother was probably we were in the Soda Butte River out in Montana and uh, I hadn't caught a fish yet on a fly rod. He'd been working so hard trying to get me to catch fish and, and just get me really into fly fishing. And, and I got that first fish on out there in the Soda Butte, man. He came running down the river to get a picture of it. You know, just, just the look on his face was, was awesome. I think my fondest memory is just uh, going out to his house. We, we lived in a, a rural area, uh, not as rural as this, but um, we would just go get lost in the woods do whatever, dig in the dirt, chase after birds, squirrels, or whatever, but he was a good kid. That's, that's what I remember. Um, even through the years, I mean, we, we grow up, we become men, uh, but whenever I looked at Derek, uh, I just remember, I remember the boy in the diapers chasing us around. One Easter, he had got me a fly rod for Christmas, or for Easter, and you know, I just, that'll probably stick with me forever, you know, just the fly rod and reel and, and the way he thought, he was always two steps ahead, you know, and, and knew that I would I would probably get into it and hadn't really been into it yet. And, and just the foresight to, to, to take that step and get me into it will, will forever be in my mind. There he's looking at, oh, see it? Yeah, I saw it. There he is, that man. Oh, that second one. Uh, uh. Well, that's a big fish. Big fish. No, get away. That's what Brazos is all about. This one's for you, buddy. <laughs> Good old boy from, oh! I'm ready. He, he saw the ugly man in the gray hat and got scared. <laughs> when you get to where you can pull and just pick the rod back. Nice. Yeah, bud. 
We got to get a picture of that one. Thank you. Yeah, man. There we go. Oh, that's a good hook set on that one. There we go. He would be so jealous right now. He's, you know, it didn't matter whether it was Hinkle Digging Lake when they stocked it with trout or, or when he was a little kid, it was sunfish and paying fish out at Rock Lake. I mean, it, it didn't matter. Fishing to him was fishing. He was so happy about the, uh, the opportunity of the marshals. He was in a, like the co-op program at Fairmont State and, you know, talking about how long he had until the academy and, uh, I mean, he was so proud. He could do anything he could put his mind to. The three-way was my brother's rod after after he was killed. Uh, we we're kind of settling a lot of his affairs and then getting his stuff organized, you know. And and I came across all these fly stuff, and I really just didn't know what to do with it. I I had a hard time, you know, and trying to say that you know that stuff is, is he can't use it anymore. And, and so I was going through it and I talked to my mom about, you know, I was probably just put it up and, and keep it safe and stuff like that. And she looked at me and said, what do you think, if this situation were reversed, what do you think she, he would be doing with your stuff? And I said, fishing with it. So I brought it out here. I want to catch a fish on it out here. I think it'd be a really good, memorable experience to just, just have one of these amazing rainbows out here on his fly rod. on the stream after that. I mean, it took him about seven, eight minutes to get his line wet again. So that meant a lot. I really wanted him to bring that rod. I didn't I didn't know if he was going to bring any of his brother's stuff because you're always afraid that you might break it or, you know, something might happen, might get stolen in the airline or something. But I'm, I'm glad he did it and I'm glad it, I'm glad he caught a brook trout on it. Proud brother looking down at you, buddy. Serious. Man. I can check off by my I check that off my list. <laughs> Make sure I get some brookies on Derek's fly rod out here. It's time for Focus on the Fly, brought to you by Elk Springs Resort. Sean Weir ties us up a WD-40. Welcome to Focus on the Fly. Today we're here with Dustin Hotzenpiller. Five, mile, 5,000 miles back here just to get this segment. And today we're going to be tying a WD-40. Okay, we're going to tie this WD-40 on a size 22 today. And all this is is coating your hook with the right color thread to match a bluing olive. Then you wrap that thread up to the thorax. Take a little piece of white CDC. Lay it right on top of your fly. And tie that in. So this sits right on the top. Just take and trim off that front piece of the CDC completely. Then you come back to the back. Pull that up, just leave a wee little puff right there. And that's pretty much it. Finish off your fly with the half hitch. And what's gonna happen, that little piece of CDC is gonna float 
the rest of that body of fly is going to sink down in the film, and that's all there is to it. And that's your Focus on the Fly, brought to you by Elk Springs Resort. You know, this show is about Derek and Dustin Hotzenpeller, but it's also about law enforcement in general. These guys put their lives on the line every day for us. Cameraman Wade has been on the crew since the beginning, but he's also a policeman. I couldn't think of a better show to have him put the camera down and pick up the fly rod. He sure deserves it. Dustin, man, it's been great fishing with you here this week. Uh, I was very honored. Uh, Curtis invited me out here to do this trip and honor your brother. And uh, you and I have a lot in common. West Virginia law enforcement, yeah. uh, both graduates, West Virginia State Police Academy. Yeah. And uh, something I don't talk about a whole lot. Uh, I lost a brother. Um, I know your brother was uh, killed in line of duty, US, US Marshal. I lost a brother. Uh, in an automobile accident, uh, older brother, uh, kind of a mentor to me. So, uh, and nobody knows exactly what anybody else's situation is, but uh, certainly I can imagine you're going through a lot of emotions here this week. You know, you get that phone call and your world instantly changes. It does. And, um, you try to, to go on and continue on and, and do the things that, that you wanted to do, and you get a chance to come up here and, and Fishing his honor has just been just a tremendous, tremendous opportunity for me. Well, it's been an honor. Wade, it's, it's been my honor. It really has. Thank you. Coming up on Fly Rod Chronicles, we conclude this amazing trip at Brazos River Ranch in honor of Derek Hotzenpeller. Stick around. Welcome back to a special episode of Fly Rod Chronicles in honor of the fallen Deputy U.S. Marshal, Derek Hotzenpeller. Everything we did just together meant a lot. And, um, you know, it's, I could always expect deer season, I get that phone call, man, hey, I got a deer down, I need help with it, you know, or, or you know, getting ready that Sunday night scrambling stuff at my mom's house, scrambling, get everything together to get ready to go out hunting. Or, or he'd call me up and say, hey man, you ought to check the new trail cam pictures I got. You could not, uh, you could not not get along with Derek Hodson Pillar. That's a nice brook trout. There we go. There you go, Derek. That's for you, buddy. Look at the color on that guy. Man. Wow. Look at the, Look at the belly. Wow. <laughs> at the beginning of this show, we said that every fish we catch was going to be in Derek's honor. Well, these two boys from West Virginia sure did catch a lot of trout. They fished hard, and being from West Virginia, I can tell you that the people there are hard workers and they care for one another. When Derek was killed in the line of duty, the whole community came together for the Hots and Pillars. It's been tremendous and, and such a huge help in trying to process all this and, and, and kind of deal with it. I don't know if Dustin ever thought he would realistically get another chance. Maybe he wouldn't want to after the experience, you know, because once you do it with your brother going out west to fly fish, what you two love to do the most, the best trip in the world still would have a void in it because he's not there with you. Um, but I think this trip is the closest that Dustin 
could experience fishing with his brother again. I'm just honored to be here. I didn't even have to bring a rod. It's just been a tremendous honor to have known him. You know, being host of Fly Rod Chronicles, I feel blessed to be in great outdoors every day. Um, this wasn't about Curtis Fleming. This show here was about Dustin Hotzenpeller. You know, Dustin lost his brother, Derek, who was a U.S. Marshal, lost him in a line of duty. They were best friends, avid fly fishermen. They spent all their free time together in the outdoors. You know, this show was about Dustin healing. It wasn't about Curtis Fleming. I put the fly rod down, made sure Dustin um, was taken care of. You know, Bo Prescorn went out and lined up a lot of stuff with his fellow neighbors, lined up a motorcade across the state of New Mexico. Um, one of those things that will go in the memory bank forever. I'm proud to be part of this show, to hang out with Dustin Hotzenpeller, and uh, being out here at 11,000 feet, Dustin truly was back close to his brother Derek out here in God's country. Thanks for hanging out with Fly Rod Chronicles. Come back next week. I'm just a fishing bum. If I don't have the gas, then I stick out my thumb. I've got to get there.